from construction site and you can see here this is its example guys you can see this is its long section and this is the cross section for cantilever beam which length is eight feet so this is free end we don't have any support and this is fixed support therefore this is cantilever beam if you are new on this channel so you may subscribe the channel and like the video and if you have already subscribed to the channel so you may like this video that's why because this is very interesting for you people to know about eight feet span of cantilever beam guys you can see here this is rcc cordum which is fixed support and guys you can see this is free end where we don't have any support therefore it's called cantilever beam span is eight feet this is for three story commercial building okay this is for three story commercial building okay guys in this practical video you can uh, see clearly but here the span is eight feet so let me guide you for the size of this beam if you see guys the size of this beam is 15 inches by 18 inches depth is 18 inches and width is 15 inches and you can see first of all i will write here size which is 15 by 18 inches okay depth is 18 inches size is 15 inches next guys here concrete cover is that is 1.5 inches or 40 millimeter for each side okay next guys here we have three bars at the bottom the dia is 16 millimeter guys you can see three numbers of bars at the bottom five bars at the top which dia is 20 millimeter you can see two bars are at the sides it means side bars which dia is 16 millimeter okay so total here guys we have if you see here we have 10 numbers of bars total 10 numbers of bars okay so these are steel reinforcement next guys here die off stirrup is 10 millimeter with the spacing of 100 millimeter center to center 100 millimeter or you can say are 4 inches guys you can see clearly these are stirrups 10 millimeter with the diameter of 100 millimeter c slash c okay this is for its stirrups next guys here hooks length is 75 millimeter with 135 angle bend on 135 angle guys you can see clearly okay but remember one thing here guys these two side bars are very important that's why because here the load comes on the top of this free end so therefore the free end should be strong compared to its bottom section therefore we provided three numbers of bars at the bottom dia is 16 millimeter five numbers of bars at the top dia is 20 millimeter two are side bars but the side bars should not be provided at the middle at the d by two d by two mean total depth divided by two but it should be provided at the distance of d by d by 1.5 okay so it means this is the place especially for that 
next guys let me also guide you for development length guys you can see this steel bar is coming to the downward side and the bottom bar is going to the upward side so here this length you can take from the formula of 0.42 d means 0.42 where d is 18 inches now you can get the video 18 inches so when you did its calculation this is about 7 inches if you did its calculation so this is you can take from this formula sorry uh, it was out from the camera but now you can see clearly but here the hook length should not be the hook length should not be less than 9 inches okay but you can increase up to 9 inches but this is the formula next guys remember here if you see here the one depth is here 18 inches and the small depth is here guys uh, which is about 6 to sorry 7 to 8 inches this one guys you can see look here that's why because this is at the free end so therefore we are not making the uh, high uh, structure load okay self load of the uh, the structures structure is cantilever beam so therefore try with the free end thickness should be a minimum compared to its bottom so here we have 18 inches but here you can see this is up to 7 inches from 7 to 8 inches it's okay next guys here remember the first stirrup should be placed at the distance of minimum 2 inches the first stirrup minimum and the other you can upgrade up to three inches four inches but it's dep depend on the structure load or it's depend on the design of the cantilever beam guys also uh, you saw uh, the video in uh, the uh, practically uh, from this side so it was a, a real project which we did already for one of our customer our client uh, the length was eight feet span and these are its steel reinforcement the size and remember one thing more use here a minimum m20 grade concrete which ratio is 1 to 1.5 ratio 3 this is specially for grade of concrete and uh, you try to use best cement okay uh, that will be better for you otherwise you will face more problems that's why because in the cantilever beam especially you follow the steel structure design if you don't follow the steel structure design so you will face more problems in the future if you are going more than uh, two to three feet so for that you should hire the structural engineer uh, that's why because you don't know about the state structure design you don't know about the self-load of the uh, building self-load of the uh, any structure so therefore hire the structural engineer to give you the structural design for any kind of a structure if that is a design of beam column slip anything if you are going more than two story so hire the structure engineer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye